Hello folks, it's hard to believe we're in December already and getting into the festive spirit. November has been such a busy month in the Mayor's office, so here's just a short recap for all of you out there. Firstly, it was always an honour to attend the Remembrance Sunday commemoration and church services. And so good to see such a turnout from our communities at these Remembrance events. It was a great privilege as Mayor to place a wreath on the War Memorial on behalf of Midden East Antrim Council and the citizens of the borough. And spend time with those whose families bore the loss for all of us. I attended several visits to businesses within the borough, from welcoming new businesses to celebrating milestones and winning awards. It was a great opportunity to update and engage with our business community in the borough, celebrating their successes, discussing their challenges, but more importantly, exploring opportunities for them as they emerged from the pandemic and approached Christmas and New Year. I see many with challenges ahead, but all with positive outlooks and planned growth for their own sectors. I was delighted to be invited to the official opening of the Kilwater Minerals new offices. Established in 1939, Kilwater Minerals Limited have been quarrying and mining lime products from outside Larn for just over 80 years now. In that time, their business has diversified into a wide variety of subsectors and we thank them for their continued initiatives and business expansion, which has contributed to the employment for so many people and families within our borough in the Larn area. In the hospitality and tourism sector, I was invited to the official opening of Macarmona Estate, the newest hotel and wedding venue on our borough. This family-run business has weathered the past 18 months and now has the ambition to be one of our top venues for conferences and weddings not just in Midden East Antrim, but Northern Ireland as a whole. Can I once again wish them all the best for the future with their exciting venture. Turning to our town centres, Ballymena held their annual discount day with great success. It was such a joy to see the town buzzing with excited shoppers, waiting to see what bargains they could possibly purchase. A big well done to Ballymena Bid on their successful event once again. Staying within our local towns and villages, I was delighted to assist the big man himself, our Santa, to turn on the Christmas lights in our three main towns, as well as some of our local villages. There are many on my travels around our borough who speak to me with genuine concern about our retail businesses and ask what can be done. We all can do our bit at this time of year to support our retailers. Come into your villages and towns and purchase your gifts and presents from them. Stop off for a bite of lunch and before you leave for home late in the day, have a wee latte and a bun in one of our many superb cafes. They will all be welcoming and so pleased to serve you. So I would encourage all of you to go out and support your local businesses for all your shopping needs. As the Mayor's office, we held a number of receptions this month. These included Ballymena Rotary Club, World Diabetes Day, our own elected members attending a trip to the Ulster Tower, Pancreatic Cancer Awareness Day, Cruise Bereavement Support NI. In the community sector, I attended Con McGee's Hurlers in Glenravel to congratulate the team who won the All-County Junior Hurling Final against Glenarm. And also the Glenravel Ladies Football Team who won the Junior B Final against Glenarif. It was a brilliant night with lots of chat and of course finished with a wee cup of tea and biscuit. But I think this Isle Mayor will just stick to the cycling for his exercise. Continuing on the theme of receptions, we welcomed NA Scrubs to the atrium. And with the Health Minister recognised the fantastic work this group, who set about answering the call to help our incredible frontline NH workers, to get access to more scrubs and other PPE had done right across our borough. I was delighted to assist in the unveiling of this fabulous quilt exhibition and hear the many stories of how this fantastic community effort had come about. I also attended the opening of the Ulster Scots Laid Week 2021 at Arthur's Cottage in Cullibaggy, 
for a traditional cookery demonstration by Paula Mink and Tyre took place. Boys, but that gal can bake. Soda farrels to die for, fads like you've never tasted, proper stew and chump, and all topped up with a homemade custard and lovely pudding. I certainly didn't leave Carther Cottage hungry, but the aim of late weeks is to encourage our folk to recognise and embrace Ulster Scots language and celebrate our culture. Oops, apologies, slipping back into my natural tongue there. Focusing on the neighbourhood, I attended centenary tree planting events with local primary schools in Moorfields and my home villages of Kells and Connor, and visited Bashford's Land Wood, where I met primary six pupils from Carrick Fergus. The Carrick Fergus Community Fridge, a big thank you to the volunteers who run this fabulous fridge within the Carrick Fergus area, and to thank them and mark six months of its opening. I held a reception for all their hard-earned efforts in making this initiative such a success. Council celebrated successes at the Ulster and Bloom Awards throughout the borough. The hard-working staff involved in keeping our towns and villages looking primed with their floral skills, to thank them, I held a reception in the Braid and was able to present them with their relevant certificates. If anyone would like to contact the Mayor's office, Regarding any event promotion, the details are included below. And for anyone who wishes to donate to either of my two chosen charities, NI Hospice and the Royal Irish Benevolent Fund, a link can be found to give directly. Many thanks to all those who permitted me to share in their celebration or event, and I look forward once again to the next busy month ahead. May I wish you all a Merry Christmas and a happy new year. I hope you all enjoy your festivities, but please stay safe.